Welcome back. So I have separated the code into four different projects, into four different folders, because each one is a completely different project with its objectives. So for example, we have, this is the data collection. I'm now displaying the data collection, as you can see. I only left what is necessary for the data collection chatbot web application to work successfully and function very well. As you can see here, we only have this code. The most important thing is the array, which is questions to ask array. We also have the chatbot send message function and the send message and the ask questions, as well as the send button click event listener and the key press event listener for the text box. And the event listener, these two event listeners, are common for all applications so you need to leave them in your code for all of these projects so as you can see now the code is very clean for the second application which is the data collection I did also the same for the general chatbot and for the personal assistant and the restaurant chatbot web applications so you need to separate the code into four folders because each one is a different is a completely different project and don't worry about that if you don't know how to do that I have already done that for you as you can see and I'm gonna upload it for you but you also need to learn how to do so so that you understand how these things work I'm gonna also show you the general chatbot so as you can see this is the uh, this is the general chatbot which has the get date function, the array of possible messages, which is the most important thing. We also have the, the uh, chatbot send message, the send message, the process message function, and the event listeners, the send event listener, the send button event listener, and the key press event listener for the text box. So now, as you can see, the code is very clean for the first application. So now you can download any of these projects and use them.